Greetings, I am Dr. Shayla C. Nunnally Violet, and I am the head of our new Department of Africana Studies at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. Hello, my name is Crystal Hardamini Kim. I'm the Associate Dean of Students here at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, and I use the pronoun she and her. And today, we're going to be talking about the newest federal holiday, June 19th, also known as Juneteenth. June I know, <laughs> get excited. <laughs> So just a little bit, um, and we talk about this uh, constantly when we talk about what is Juneteenth. So we're continuing to educate, continuing to let people know what Juneteenth is and uh, just a little bit about it. So Shayla, let's talk about what is Juneteenth? What is it to you? Ah, so mm -hmm. Juneteenth, let me start by saying that Juneteenth also, what is June 19th, uh -huh. dates back to what was 1865. Mm -hmm and formerly enslaved people in Texas yes. learn about emancipation mm. in states that were formerly in rebellion. And so initially, what was an announcement by President Abraham Lincoln uh -huh. for January 1st, 1863. So wait a minute, so you're telling me, just to tell the people, that January 1st, 1863 is when the announcement was made but the people in Texas didn't find out until when? Almost two and a half years later. Mm, mm, mm. And so what's also important about that uh -huh. is that even in black American churches, culturally, what is a watch night service mm -hmm. on January 1st, bringing in the new year, dates back to this moment of emancipation wow. when enslaved African descended people were awaiting that January 1st of emancipation. Wow. So yes, Juneteenth, wow what is almost two and a half years later mm -hmm. is when that message was carried to enslaved African people in the state of Texas. Goodness gracious. I, you know, I think about it with um, my family and especially when, and we'll talk about it in just a little bit, but when Juneteenth uh, came out as a national holiday and I was talking mm -hmm. to some of my cousins and they were so excited about it, but not knowing the reasoning behind it or what it was, right? So once we start talking about it, it was just this sense of pride, like, oh man, this is our Independence Day. When we think about us as black or African-American individuals, and we talk about July 4th, um, which is amazing, but then we talk about June 19th that says people who look like me, who've come from where I come from, now they are independent in 1865, two years after it was originally um, decreed. Yes, and but we also have to keep in mind mm -hmm. that slavery as an institution did mm -hmm. not become prohibited until the 13th Amendment. So even <sighs> in what gracious. that emancipation was, mm -hmm. still there was a road to what that meant for freedom, but it was a start. Yes, it was a start, small start, but a start um, and thinking about the journey of Juneteenth and what it does, the journey of just our culture and who we are as individuals and the resilience, right? When we talk about them celebrating on the first and we still do some of those things today when we talk about watch night services. So Crystal, why does Juneteenth matter? Well, I mean, uh, various reasons, but one of it is um, it's an opportunity for us to reflect on the past while committing to um, the future, to better um, economics, to make the world better for all people, justice for all, this in, uh, inclusion. Um, it's our collective responsibility to really instill those values in our communities and others, to make sure that we're able to celebrate each other and our culture. That's why I feel like it matters. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it's a time of commemoration. That's yes, it. Right? Yes, yes. Commemoration. Back and yes. Planning forward. Absolutely. And celebration. Celebration of culture, of the past, and also the future. Mm hmm. Absolutely. So, how do you celebrate Juneteenth? Oh, my goodness. So. <laughs> If I can tell you what it means to just have jubilee, ah. so that's the other other term that you'll hear, jubilee yes. and celebration, mm -hmm. and what is jubilant, mm -hmm. dance, Ooh. being a part of just communities coming together, yes. and what are daily activities with family and mm -hmm. friends, yes. that is a time of Juneteenth for me. Absolutely, so same thing, just this time of us coming together, 
celebrating, but also thinking about the past. So we think a little bit about our ancestors. And that's a time where we talk about the journey of our ancestors in that moment. And so the little ones are able to learn about their history and what that looks like, but then also us making sure that we know and it's continuing to stay on the forefront and then us being able to celebrate and uh, love on each other. That's what we do. We do it through barbecues. We've had, I mean, the dances, of course, the famous cakewalk, right? Um, we've done so many things, and I think different communities do it differently. But whatever it is, when you talk about that word, commemoration, to be able to celebrate and commemorate who we are, what we've been through, and where we're going. Yes. Mm -hmm. And even, I'll add, mm -hmm. what that means in our state, in the state of Tennessee, mm -hmm. that this day of emancipation also extends to August 8th. Mm -hmm. So August 8th is yet another moment where we reflect wow. on what that journey was from what was enslaved, yes, what were enslaved yes. people, then becoming free and building cultural contributions to what is American society. See, I love it. I love it. So when we think about closing out is, I want everybody to take time uh, to think about how we each commemorate or celebrate Juneteenth and August 8th, right? How we do that, but then also, how do we pour back into our communities? That economic development, whether that's supporting black businesses, uh, that is making sure that we each do our own research so that we're able to continue to grow and evolve and learn more about who we are and where we're going and where we've been. Mm -hmm. It does become important to yes. read more about history yes. and understand the context in which these things happen, but mm -hmm. also understanding how it is that communities are able to work with one another and yes. build and think, as you have mentioned before, mm -hmm. build a future yes. that's even brighter. Mm -hmm. And also acknowledging the humanity of all people, yes. but also what that has meant in the journey for people of African descent. Okay. So, Thinking about in closing is how do we as individuals and with us leaving you is uh, making sure that we do our own research when it comes to Juneteenth. Um, yes, we're talking a little bit about information in order for us to, e to educate the campus or put things out there, but it's time for us to dig deeper, uh, to think about how to bring this tradition into our own households and what do we do to make it tangible? So what is that for you? Is supporting black businesses, is um, supporting black authors, whatever that is to make sure that we are commemorating and celebrating Juneteenth so that that legacy lives on and goes on not only on this screen but also in your individual households and families. And if I might add, to lift the name of Sam Johnson, who also was responsible for making sure that we acknowledge a Juneteenth celebration again, August 8th yeah. in the state of Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Check out what that contribution was.